Hello guys, welcome back to Always Mabel Canada's YouTube channel. Today we are going to test this uh, glass screen protector. It says it's a privacy glass screen protector. So we'll try this. Let's see if this privacy glass really works. But first, because there's a frame or the for this one here, the Spigen, we are going to place this first. This is the Spigen here. There are double adhesive tape here so that it will not fall. That's the spare. And this one will be the back and this is the front. So we'll open this. We'll see what's inside on this glass protector. Okay, so there's a frame here already yeah because you cannot just put the glass screen protector without putting the frame first because if you put it put the screen protector without this then it's gonna be a big problem it's it's not gonna look good because you will see the edge on the the glass so this one will remove this first and then we're gonna clean yeah because there's a screen protector this is the plastic screen protector we'll remove that so let's see so this is like a tinted screen protector and then this is the protector for the camera at the back here but we'll do that later So in one box, there's a spare and uh, on the back lens protector and the other one is the screen protector on the front. Inside here, there's some more here. For this one will be for cleaning. This is the wipes. And then the dust absorber. I don't think that there's a dust here because uh, I just removed the old screen protector. But anyway, we we rather clean it than later on we'll see if we didn't clean it. And then later on we will see that there's a dust there. So this will be the guide. We have to put this as the guide here yeah. and then we will put this here like that as easy as that okay and then this is the one where we are going to press it you know just to push out the bubbles the tiny bubbles so now we are going to peel this off I have to use this one. there yeah now we press it like this to to press out the bubbles but we have to use this one here to push out the tiny bubbles but don't worry if you can still see the bubbles because later on maybe the next day you will not see the bubbles anymore let's see 
ya dim a little you know i like this a little bit dimmer because when i'm driving and then i receive a call that's a problem you know uh it's too bright even though you already put it in the minimum adjustment when there's an incoming call or the, if the charging is already full and then you are driving and then somebody might thought or the cops might thought that you're using the phone but it's not that's why i don't know what's going on with samsung why can't they do something about it you know because this is the glass just press it with the finger and then it's gone there's a little bit more here there okay now I have the glass screen protector yeah yeah there it looks better and then let's say this alarm so if on this side let's say you guys will see right let's put it on the brightness uh, maximum brightness there if you are going to look on this side of course you are the one, just the one will see it right like this right look on the camera if you are if I'm going to if somebody is uh, on this side looking at your phone nobody can see your what you're reading right look or that right so look at this they will not see it you see that's me and this is my youngest daughter okay look it's you're not gonna see if you are on the side of the phone so this privacy glass really works I like it let's see the other okay there there you go looks better now let's remove this sticker here okay okay it snaps this one here and now put this at the front there there you go now privacy glass screen protector is installed already and this spigen so there all good i like it so guys if you like to replace your uh, galaxy z fold 3 screen protector with the privacy glass screen protector and also this spigen case here just click down link below down in the description and you will find it there thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video please subscribe on this channel hit the like button and the notification bell so that you will always see our latest video and you can watch all the latest video even the old one uh, i have the tutorial there maybe it will help you you can find what you're looking for if you if you are wondering how you're going to fix or use something please subscribe guys thank you for watching see you on our next video